This rig on minor stat windows continues to crash, so we need to get it switched over to minor stat OS. Um, we've got another SSD here that we were using for Windows mining. We're going to go ahead and throw MSOS on it, and then we're going to swap it out for this SSD just because I'm tired of it crashing. Um, I do have triggers in place so it fixes itself, but it's still really annoying that it continues to crash. I've noticed that Minerstat Windows has more issues than Minerstat OS, but there are some limitations to Minerstat OS that Minerstat Windows has. Um, so let's jump over to the computer and then I will show those. Okay, so now that we're at the computer, first thing we need to do is download MSOS so that we can install it onto the SSD. Click add a worker and it's your first worker. You're going to get to a screen that looks like this where it says download software. Make sure to download the right, correct version. It's going to show your access key, the worker name that you named it, and that it's waiting. Um, it also gives you recommendations for editing your BIOS on the motherboard. These are just the standard settings that you should put. So first things first, you have to download MSOS, and then you want to download the rig config. So you're going to click on download MSOS, and then based on if you have Vega or RX 6000 series, you'll want to download this version. If you're using GTX, RTX, P, RX, you know, 400, 500, any other cards, you're essentially just going to download this one. So you click on Direct, and it's going to take you over to Minerstat and download the file. So once that's done, we will be back. So while we wait for that to download, I just wanted to do a snapshot of the rig that we're switching over. So we're going to be changing the 1060 rig from Minerstat Windows, you can see it's currently on Windows, to Minerstat OS. I just want to get a snapshot of how everything's looking power-wise, as well as overclock settings. Currently they are set, we've got power limit at 90, core clock at 100, memory clock on 600, except for one of them we have it on negative 502 fan speed we're at 95 the reason why this one is at negative 502 is because we'll see on the memory type most of the cards are samsung hynix but then we have one of these right here that's gddr5x micron when it has the gddr5x memory a lot of the time you have to go negative on the memory clock instead of positive on the memory clock in order to get a decent hash rate out of the card. There's a couple of these that I could probably tweak, like all the rest of them are around 23, just under 24. This one's at 24, but then this one is at 16 and then 16 and then up here we got 19. I don't know if there's a whole lot of tweaking I can do, but potentially, maybe. Any ideas, please let me know. I don't know everything. I'm also learning as I go. So there's a snapshot of the rig currently on Minerstat Windows before we switch it over to Minerstat OS. I know that there's going to be a downside to Minerstat OS where we won't be able to see the memory type, which is really unfortunate. Then also the memory temperature, I believe, does not pull over either. So there's some perks to Minerstat Windows, but I wanted to show how to install Minerstat OS because we're going to be installing it to a rig that we already have active. So what I'm going to be showing is how you switch a rig that you have currently over from Minerstat Windows to Minerstat OS. So once the file's downloaded, we will get it flashed onto the SSD and then we'll get it set up.
sweet. So now we have our SSD plugged in. We have the MSOS file downloaded. So now we're going to use Belina Etcher. Um, if you don't have this, go to Google, type in Belina Etcher, make sure you download it from the proper source, and then you will install the program. And you'll click flash from file. We're gonna choose our MSOS zip target. We're going to do the 120 gigabyte SSD, select flash. And it's gonna take a little bit of time to complete, but once it is done, then we will be able to set up the config file on the SSD, and then we can plug it into the rig and we should see it boot up into minor stat. Okay, so once the flash is complete, you will have to unplug your SSD and then plug it back in and then you should see the SSD pop up and be able to go into the settings. So now you can see MSOS as the SSD. We get config, network, OpenCL settings. Open your config file and you're going to see this. Now we need to go back to minor stat and we're going to take our worker. We're going to make sure that we shut it down. Once your worker is offline, you're going to click on these three little lines, click on edit, and then name your rig. Still in video, we're going to change this to MSOS, and then we need to make sure that we have our worker name. We're going to click save, and then we will go back to our file, and we will change our worker name to what it is in minor stat. And then our global access key, that's going to be your access key for minor stat. So once you put that in place, then you save this file so that the config file is edited. But if you already downloaded the config file from MSOS, whenever you go to this screen and you download config, then you can just copy that file into the MSOS drive. So either way you want to do it, it's totally fine. But I'm going to go ahead and edit mine, save it, and then we will get it plugged into the rig and boot it up. All right, it looks like things are fully booted now. Let's do a refresh. Let's go in. Looks like none of the overclocks are placed previously from Windows. So we have all 10 GPUs. A few of the limitations that you'll notice the diff when you look at the difference between Windows and MSOS. <clears throat> the memory temp doesn't pull over like it did in Windows. The memory type does not pull over like it does in Windows, which kind of sucks, but there's not a whole lot we can do about that. So I need to get the overclocks in place so that we can get the hash rate back up to what it was. One thing that's really interesting to me is that MSOS, they don't have a way to add in memory type, but when you look at Hive OS, it pulls everything over. So here's Hive OS, RTX 3060. We got our core temp, mem uh, we got our core temp, memory temps don't pull over, which is one of the limitations with Hive OS. But here we see the memory type of each of the GPUs, the brand. So very similar like MSOS, but apparently there's no way for minor stat to pull over the memory type, which doesn't make any sense, any sense to me, because if HiveOS can do it, why can't minor stat do it as well? So who knows, but let's get the overclocks in place. So if we go to our clock tune, and come here, edit. This is our 1060 rig for ETH. So NVIDIA Windows, we basically need to copy all of that into NVIDIA MS OS. So we're going to do our, can we not do power limit percentage? Right. We don't even have 1060s. That's really lame. We might actually switch it back to minor stat windows and just deal with the crashing 
occasionally because I don't like using power limit watt. Well, that sucks. I'm going to work with, I'm going to tweak it a little bit and just see if I can get it to work. I'll be back in a second. All right, so this is where we left it. Previously on Windows, I was able to get 218. And we're sitting at 214. And we got a majority of the GPUs back up to 23 mega hash, around 100 watts, um, a couple of below 100 watts. A couple of the GPUs also don't hit 23, which kind of sucks. But the crazy difference is comparing the overclocks on Windows to the overclocks I have now, even just to hit most of these at 23. It's insane. Power limit, 100. Core clock, 150. Memory clock, 1,000 on all of them. So when I went negative 502 on the Zotac that has the GDDR5X memory, it was down to 11 mega hash when it was at negative 502. So it doesn't make any sense to me why on Windows it's negative 502, that's the best. But now in MSOS, I can't figure out what, what to make them or what to do to try to get it back up to 218. So that's where we're going to leave it at. All, in all honesty, I might just switch it back over to windows maybe i don't know i mean 213 to 218 it's not that big of a difference but so that's where we're going to leave it peace out